Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the OpenAI API in your Python Django projects in order to generate images from text. So let me show you what exactly we are going to create. I'm going to type a cool bull buying Bitcoin cartoon style. Let's press submit. Here we have the result and this image will be also stored in the DB. So here we have a cool bull buying Bitcoin cartoon style and this is the result. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so in order to create an AI solution to generate images from text, we will be using the OpenAI API and we will work mainly on this particular function. With that being said, if you haven't seen my previous video on how to use uh, ChatGPT with Python and Django, I would encourage you to visit my YouTube channel and find this particular video, how to use ChatGPT with Python. Over there, we discussed the basics, how to obtain the secret key from OpenAI, how to store it in the environmental file, how to load it from the .nv file, how to install OpenAI. We also discussed the base HTML file, which is going to be the same uh, for this video and for the previous one. And then the main HTML, which is going to be extremely similar. So we have the difference in the H3 tag, and then we will have a difference in the response. So this main HTML file basically just inherits from base HTML, and it has a simple form, and then below the form it will uh, give us an output. The difference between those two videos is that this time we are actually storing the results in the database. So if we go to the images application, to the models py file of this directory, we can see an image class with two fields, phrase and AI image. The phrase is going to be the instruction for generating the image, and it's going to come from the user input. And then the AI image is going to be the generated image itself. So now let's go back to the views.py file and continue working on this generate image from text function. So the first thing I'm going to do is to check if the API key is not none and if the request method, method, method is equal to post. Okay, uh, request method like this. Okay, and then if this is the case, we are going to generate the response from the OpenAI. So we have OpenAI already imported. So OpenAI and then image and then create, create. And here we are going to set the prompt as user input. So we need to get the user input. Let's do it above, user input is equal to request post get user input. Okay, so here we are referring to the name of the main HTML uh, file. Uh, we are looking at the form input and here is the name user input. So we are grabbing it uh, over here. And now we can, we can set it, set the prompt, we can set the instruction to user input. And we need to set the size of the image. So we can uh, select, for example, 256 by 256 or 512 by 512 or 1024 times 1024, okay? So I'm going to go with the smallest size. And basically what I'm going to do next is simply to print out the response. Let's save this. And let's try this out. So I'm going to type in cute puppy in space. I'm going to press submit. Let's wait for the response. 
okay? And there it is. So what we need to do is now to refer to the data URL, okay? So this is going to be our image. So yeah, let's go back and below the response, let's create a variable image URL and this is going to be response and then data zero URL. Okay, as the next step, let's bring in requests and let's fetch this image URL. So I'm going to create another variable called just the same way as over here, response, and this is going to be requests and then get, and we want to pass in the image URL. All right, so if everything goes okay, here we should have the status of a response with the status of 200. So let's actually print out the response. Let's save this and again, this time I'm going to put in cute kitty in Spain. Okay, and there it is. We have the response of 200. All right, so as the next step, what we will need to do is to import content file. So somewhere over here, let's bring content file from Django core files base. We want to import content file and we want to pass in the response content to this content file. So let's do it straight away. I'm going to create a new variable called image file, and this is going to be equal content file where we are going to pass in the response content, just like this. All right, and I did it in the wrong place, of course. It should be underneath this response. Sorry about this, guys. So. Um, let's actually delete the prints. All right, let's continue. So we have the image file. Now we need to set the file name. And I'm going to refer to the number of objects in our database. So we need to bring in uh, our image class from images.models. Let's import this image class. And what I'm going to do is to count them first. So image objects count. And then I'm going to add one. So if there are no images, this is going to be the first image. And the F name is going to be created with the F string. The base name is going to be image or AI image, whatever. And then I'm going to pass in the count and the format is going to be JPG. Okay, so now we have the file name and we need to create a new Django instance, a new image instance with this generated image. So let's do it right now. I'm going to set a new variable obj and initially it will be set to none. And if API is not none and request method is equal to post, we are going to work with this image this obj uh, variable and the image class and we are going to set the praise as user input next we are going to refer to the obj ai image we are going to call the save method over here pass in the file name as well as the image file all right and now we can simply save the image and uh, yeah we can simply print out the image, the, the OBJ, sorry. Okay, so let's save this and let's see if this will be working. So I'm already logged into the Django administration. Currently, there are no images. Let's write again, cute kitty in Spain. All right, let's hit refresh. Cute kitty in Spain. And there it is, okay? 
So I don't know if this is Spain, but let's do cute puppy in space. Uh, we need to go back. And there it is, okay? So this is working. And the final part is to actually display the result below the form. For this, I'm just going to go to the main HTML and I'm going to copy and paste a very simple code checking if the object exists. If it does, we are displaying first the object phrase. So what instruction did we give? And then we have a break line and the object image displayed as image. So let's try it out again. Let's hit refresh and let's write kitty in space cartoon style. Submit. and we don't see the results. And this is because we didn't pass the object to the template. So we need to write object and to this object key assign the OBJ value. Now let's save this and try it one, once again. Kitty in space cartoon style. And there it is, okay? So this is working. I hope you guys enjoyed the tut tutorial. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and we will see each other hopefully in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.